Hi. In this video, you will learn about ROS2 executables and nodes using TurtleSim package. We will also run many executables of TurtleSim package and observe the connection between nodes using RQT node graph. And finally, we will explain the difference between ROS2 executables and nodes. Here on the right hand side, we have the ROS2 command which we will use in the video. If you already know ROS1, then on the left hand side, you can find the corresponding ROS1 command. Basically, a ROS2 executable or binary is a ready to run form of ROS2 program. Here, just search turtle sim github, Se select this link, then foxy double, and then turtle sim package. Go to the cmakelist.txt and here you will find this add executable line. This is the executable name and then its path. So this is the executable name and its path. So you can observe that there are four executables. Mimic, draw square, turtle tally of, turtle sim node. Open uh, terminator and I will split the screen into some parts. Next, uh, here type ROS2 PKG executables. Just press double tab, then turtle sim. Press enter. And here you can observe that we have this four executable which we have already seen in the cmakelist.txt. So let's explore some of this executable. Firstly, uh, here just type ROS2 and hyphen H. So we'll go for the help. Here you can find the commands which we can use after ROS2. So pkg, launch, and param. This time we'll go for this run command. So it will run a specific executable. So just type ROS2 run hyphen H. Now here in the usage you can find uh, we have to type ROS2 run then the package name then the executable name. So uh, just run some of, let's run some of the executable. Just type ROS2 run then the package name which is turtle sim and the executable turtle sim firstly we will run the turtle sim node executable we just copy this and paste it here and you will observe a turtle in a simulator window so this is the role of the turtle sim node executable by the way this GUI is made using Qt let's keep this GUI always on top. Now this single executable won't move the turtle. So to give life to this turtle, we'll need another executable which is turtle tally of key. Just type ROS2 run package name which is turtle sim. Then this second executable turtle tally of key. Just paste here and then run now here if you press up down left and right arrow key you can find the turtle is moving if you press up and down key you can move the turtle in forward and backward if you press left and right key then you can change the orientation of the turtle so this is the role of this uh, executable turtle tally of key next we'll run the next executable so ROS2 run turtle sim then this draw square just copy and paste it press enter now you can find that the turtle is moving the square so that is the role of this executable 
now you must have got an idea how a ROS2 executable is a ready to run form of a ROS2 program. So it's forming a square. Now let's learn about ROS2 node. Let's use this animation to get a better idea. In a simple word, ROS2 node is a fundamental ROS2 element that serves a single modular purpose in a robotic system. Nodes perform some computation. Example, one node can perform motion planning, one can perform wheel motor control, one node can perform object detection, etc. Nodes basically communicate with each other using ROS2 topics, service, actions, which you will learn in the later tutorial. A ROS2 node is written with the use of ROS2 client library example C++ client library and Python client library. So here in the animation you can observe. Now let's uh, do some practical. So go to this turtles and github page and here go to this tutorial and open this turtle. Tell your turtle key. Here go to the int main and you can observe that there's this object creation of turtle terrier class so let's go to its constructor and yeah it's constructor and here you can find that this constructor is creating a node named teleop turtle so go to this terminator now Let's run the turtle teleop key executable. So ROS2 run and package name turtle sim and turtle teleop key the executable name. Just press double tap. Now uh, here just type ROS2 node hyphen h. So in the usage you can see we have to type ROS2 node then these are the commands available in full list. Just try just let's just try list command or so ROS2 node and list. And here you can observe that there's one node present which is turtle or tally of turtle which we have already seen in the code. Now let's get more information about this node. So type ROS2 node, then this info and hyphen h. Here in the usage you can see we have to type ROS2 node info and then the node name. Node name is Teleop Turtle. So just copy it and here paste it and here you can observe that these, uh, this nodes contains uh, this tut teleop turtle node contains some subscriber, this publisher, and service servers and service client and action servers, action clients which we'll learn in the later tutorial. Now uh, let's run ROS2 run turtle sim turtle sim node. Just press enter. And we'll run this uh, draw, draw square executable. So our turtle is moving. Now we'll open RQT. So just type RQT. In RQT, now go to the plugins, then this introspection and node graph. Just to refresh it.
and here you can observe the connection how the nodes are connected this turtle sim node turtle tally of and draw square how these nodes are connected so we'll get better idea later on now here is an important question which a recruiter can ask you during an interview is the ros2 executable and ros2 node same the answer is no an executable contains node so one executable can have one or many nodes inside it uh, earlier when we ran turtle tally of key executable it started a node named tally of turtle so that's it for this tutorial i hope you like this video and learn something new if you like this video please give us like and subscribe our channel and keep learning